I have consulted the Archives. It is as I feared. We are not facing something new, but something very old. Oh, hi. Welcome back. We've just been killing orcs and stuff. No big deal. Okay, so what's the deal with these strange rifts? First, stop this next assault. Then I will tell you the tale. Okay. So, frankly, when it comes... Oh, gosh. These are expensive. Worth just it, like but expensive. Trading. Okay. So, like previously, Perfect we're going to just have to put up a couple of these. And Let's then go. go defend the other side on my end and turn that voice volume down. I don't know about you. I don't feel like getting yelled at by Vegeta. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, vertical, faithful, right. I don't know. Oh, ogres. Holy shit! No, seriously, holy shit! If I get him with the headshot... This shotgun puts the bow to shame. Yeah, that, ex that extra reload speed's gonna go a long way. I don't have a stun, but I delete Ogre. Woo! Okay. Frankly, I'm just going to do that. I'll spread more traps out. I just, I love brimstones from the perspective of just, uh, softening up my enemies. Like, those guys are just going to be over there. There's the ogre that I should probably go deal with. There we go. Looks like they lose interest kind of quickly. I really wish I could Goomba stomp them. And the biggest issue is par. So we kind of want to take these guys out a little faster. Because we have a par based. Is that? Oh, that, that'd be my grenade. We have par based skulls, and I hate to lose them. Ogre being most important. I probably should have moved. Should pro I should probably move the barricades down. I'm gonna move them here. Cause yeah, we'll hit par no matter what. But I hate, uh, I hate potentially not hitting it. I'll just do that for now. A bit, little bit more love. Just some damage. There we go. We good. I know we also have those portals to warp around. Did not expect them to go up the stairs and then turn around. Just expect them to know there's a path and go the other way. I really like the fact that... Uh, let's see. I, I really like the fact that they have to go and like visually confirm the barricades. And as far as I can tell, they'll do it right on top of those brimstones. I am Ogre Mulcher. Oh. Yeah, especially if I have the high ground advantage on them. Kobolds are a worry, though. Okay, so we'll probably want at least another section of those to catch as much as I can. There we go. Yeah, we'll see. 
They should be stopping right at about where those brimstones are. Yep, they stop at the brimstones and they turn around. It's perfect. Because, yeah, they have to see that the way is blocked and then they'll then they'll just peace out. Let's see. It's so nice. And yeah, I really like using barricades more just to con control and corral enemies than specifically lead them into a kill box. I used to go full on kill box and only kill box, but I don't know. Maybe those days are up. Those days are over. I'm going to do that. I'm not actually sure if that's really a good idea, but it'll at least bounce a little bit. I mean, otherwise, what I could do is kind of do this. I don't know. I'm... Frankly, maybe we just skip it entirely? I think we're good no matter what. It's just a matter of... what we do beyond. I guess I should probably get some arrow walls right there. Okay. I love seeing kobolds get toasted. It is the most gratifying feeling. I'm really looking forward to doing this in co-op, though. Just because so many of these maps really do have two paths. And I don't know if I'd want to specifically uh, just say, like, no walling a uh, path off. Plus, there's a number that cannot be walled properly. Are you still alive? Ooh, I got a boogie. Yeah, we only got three minutes before Par runs out. I think we'll be fine. Being a veritable o ogre muncher, muncher, mulcher, does about the same. Oh, here's a question. I gotta try that. Please tell me this does what I hope it does. It might not fire, which is the unfortunate part. Yeah, it might have to be triggered. Shoots. I didn't think about that at first. Eh, just for a little bit of extra. It's a bit difficult to get those headshots. I'm getting better at it. But we will see. Yeah, shame about the trigger zone, because that would have been... Oh, this would have been a really good spot for a boom barrel dispenser. We should probably pick that up. Boom barrel dispenser is probably one of my favorite potential items. Actually getting it and leveraging it, I don't know, hit and miss, but there they go. Money bags. What? Oh, probably just how much I'm carrying, but still. I love the bonus skulls. Okay. So, question is, uh, saw blade launcher, I mean... Here and there, it good. I really got to use the blunderbuss too. We need to upgrade the barricades just for cheaper mazing. Um, otherwise, we just get a bunch of stuff. How did this automatically dispenses boom barrels that explode when triggered? Deals physical damage. I'm curious about that one. We also have... 
We have the Floor Scorcher, which is an option. Ring of Storms. Generate Rift Lightning, creates a Lightning Cloud if used, which is really good. Snow Cannon. Short range cannon that freezes and damages enemies. Oh, it's short range. But I could get him to do acid. There's also just the trap reset trinket. Which is kind of okay. Hey, thank you, Juice Bags, for the raid. Welcome on in. How are you enjoying Orcs Must Die 3? Because I, I saw you, uh, you also got access to this. I believe. Uh, so I'm like, wildly, yeah, super fun, cool. Because yeah, I, I absolutely love the Stadia version, but this is just better. There's also the Acid Geyser. Frankly, let's go for the Acid Geyser. Alright, and continue on. Oh no. Oh no. I have the voice acting off. Uh, let's see if I can see that again. Am I not ready? Okay. Uh, quit out to main menu. Maybe it... Maybe it's just lava pits again. Let's see if we see the cutscene. Yes! The story of Master Cygnus is known to all. Oh! Master Cygnus taught my hero, Maximilian! Uh, yes, he tried to teach your hero. He was my teacher as well. Didn't you turn evil for- Don't a test me! Sorry, Sorceress. <laughs> what is not known is the story of his best friend, the elf, Vorwick. Human and elf fought side by side, the most talented war mages of the Order. Before infighting forced the Horde into small factions, they used massive traps and defeated the largest orc armies. Cygnus and Vorwick were the best young war mages of their generation. But when their final test came, only one of them would pass. There we go. I'm so glad they don't skip those. Okay, so Cygnus uh, has the Chain Lightning staff. There's also Vorwick, but I can't use that. Anyway, War Mission. I like the War Missions. They're real fun. Hundred and fifty years ago, cripes. Here we are once again, friend Vorwick, fighting the largest orc armies ever assembled. I welcome it, friend Cygnus. I am curious about what drives the orcs. You must admit, they are far more willing to die for their cause than our own order mages. They're definitely stubborn. Or perhaps just stupid. Perhaps. Nonetheless, their numbers are no match for my strength and your knowledge of rift magic. The amusing part to me is that, uh, you know, in the first game, they have Cygnus just being grumpy about how Maximilian, like, everybody is doomed and, you know, Maximilian uh, is going to fail them all. And then uh, here they have Cygnus as, you know, maybe a little bit more competent than... Oh, wait. I, just... I can just hit that button, can't I? That's better. Uh, bu -bu -bu. But, you know, they, they've played up Maximilian... Being this kind of dumbass, and here Cygnus is not actually that much better. All right, so the main thing is, ooh, we have this neat corridor. We also have a ton of money to kind of do whatever. Not a lot of space to do it. We definitely want the barricades, 
I think I'm going to move away from the uh, those traps. Let's actually do acid. We do have the giant flip trap and we do have the mega boom. I like the mega boom. I like the giant flip trap a little bit better. Here, let's do giant flip instead of floor spikes. I'm not going to be using floor spikes anyway. Oh, oh, right. I just have those. All right, let's get tar traps then. Uh, I'm going to flip them because I'm always going to have barricade no matter what. Okay, uh, preemptively, just, just because. If I just block this off, they'll go the other way. They may kind of look at this a little bit, but that's about it. Now, because this is a war map, it's a bit... Oh, I'm not going to say it's a bit dodgy. I mean, we know what we're doing. There we go. Do we do anything else here? I could just do the boom barrel thing anyway. And just say it's good enough. I didn't want to already play this. Yeah, but I will always gladly play more Orcs Must Die. Just gonna put one there. And a couple of there. And then... I don't know how effective these are, but I'm going to get a couple of them. I just want to keep them off the gates. If I can. Because, yeah, sprays AoE acid fountain, damaging enemies, and applying acid effects. Assuming that's a damage over time? I'm not entirely sure. But, I figure... Whether or not these are actually useful. Oh. Uh, let's skip that one and get one boom bear launcher. Do we? Yeah. So does it work better than how it worked on the Stadia? You know, honestly, not really. Uh, like, with Stadia, it was very rare that it really felt like I was having trouble on a gameplay perspective. It more felt uh, that every once in a while like, it would get kind of uh, fuzzy looking on a visual level. But as far as like latency for actions, it does acid dot work with the fire dot? That's what I was wanting to find out. It seems like it's got a longer charge up. And it's not as consistent, so it's not good against Cobalts. But it should be decent on regular groups of enemies anyway. We'll see how it goes. I'll have to see it in action against uh, bigger groups. Or not bigger groups. I, I guess more intimate groups. There we go. Yeah, frankly, I would still say that the, the Steam and console version is just going to be the superior version. But the, the Stadia version was not nearly as bad as I think people like to meme about it being. And maybe that's just me. Uh, but, like, I, I did not find the Stadia version, uh, bad. You know, poorly timed and not that useful, sure. I am looking forward to doing these war maps with another player. It's going to be such a... So helpful from, like, a stress perspective. Okay, that's the end of it. Hop out. Oh, I should have... This would have been the perfect place for the laser. Truly would have been the perfect place for the laser. Hi. <laughs> I 
Aha! Good attempt, ogre. <laughs> Whee! All right. So baseline, uh, not exactly the most excited about these acid traps. They were okay, but I think I might want to just do brimstones instead. Not that they're particularly good, but still. Uh, yeah, I can't get the I can't get the lasers. Eh, I was. Probably shouldn't really expect it. But yeah, let's, let's just spread some brimstone love here and there. Other things that would be useful here. Like, kind of the saw blades, but I think... I don't know how useful that's going to be. This would be useful, but the activation zone is going to effectively fail me almost immediately. I think what I'm going to do is just... Just get some arrow walls up. Uh, hmm. Could be kind of perfect. And yeah, I'll, I'll space them out a little bit. There we go. Yeah, I really should have brought the lasers. If dot stack, the ac acid's still useful. I think the acid isn't as... I don't actually know if the acid is a damage over a time effect, I guess, is the main question. There we go. What was that? Like there was like a weird ragdoll issue for a hot second. Behind the gate would be a great place for the vertical saw blades. Oh shit. You might be right about that. I, I'll, I'll look at that, because I think there's a number of really good spots on this specific map for just exactly that. The other thing I might want to consider, I... Part of the reason why I wanted to play this solo, uh, apart from the fact that, you know, I just love Orcs Must Die and doing like a series on Orcs Must Die is good stuff. They're gonna break through, maybe. No, it died, okay. Ogres at the gates are a problem, but me being on the barrel launcher is just so much more valuable. Uh, blah, 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 what was I gonna say? But yeah, playing this multiplayer with friends uh, is more or less going to mean I can just say... Uh, okay. Wow. They're having legitimate problems here. Okay, question. I was really hoping I could have it on the ceiling. Huh. That worked. That worked really well. Another free skull. So what do we do here? That's the question. Frankly, don't know. The activation area on one of these. Kind of short. Not convinced it would be useful there. Oh. Now here's here's the thing. Oh boy. Ha 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 ha! Okay, I'm going to move this here. Ooh. 
That's what I like to see. Look at this room. <laughs> yeah. Oh shoot. I should have I should have done that right here. I maybe we'll get another shot. Now watch as they never get through the gate. They'll get through it. They've done they do, they've done half the gate's health. Let's see. That looks like a good place to put tar. That's yeah. Yeah, it would be a really good place to put tar. I really like the idea of these bouncing saw blades. I I think they're going to supplant the arrow wall for me on this this playthrough like I'm always trying to figure out like what I can replace the tried and true uh, options with because normally when I play these games ooh, actually I wonder if I can get some bouncing saw blades on the bridge as well uh, but like I hate using the same combos over and over and over again when it comes to orcs must die I love orcs must die to death like it's incredible but it's one of those that like it very much puts me in this kind of I'm not going to say bad headspace of just like, boy, let's just be extremely one note because I know it works. Okay, they're broken through. Frankly, I think I'm just gonna focus on this room a little bit. Hello, ogre. Yeah, we definitely we definitely need those tra tar traps. Probably get a couple of brimstones in just because. How am I doing? Shockingly well. Speaking of, like, headshots, they are primo. Assuming I can actually hit these orcs with them. Are these saw blades just absolutely murking the ogres? I think they are? Damn. I was expecting I'd have some trouble. I'm not. I'm gonna have a, another one of those for the time being. Um, okay, I'm gonna get rid of these. Keep that. But I think we need... I think we need more tar traps in this room more than anything else. There we go. Should probably head... Back to the boom barrel thing. There we go. I think orcs must die in a similar light to mac and cheese or fried food. Comfortable. Yeah. Kind of. I can get a little tilted at certain levels, but it is very comfortable. Oh, I'm so excited, though. Like, orcs must die 3 definitely had some really primo traps that I wanted to play with, but... Now that they've added more, I cannot wait to see what I can mess around with further. Because, like, we haven't even upgraded half of these things, and we don't even have the special upgrades. It's those special upgrades that make it real exciting. Frankly, I'm bored of this. It's not actually that in interesting or useful. I want to see is oh, dang ow hurts
I was really hoping. I was really hoping to do a number of things. Well, it's fine. I should have enough. Welcome to Hecktown. It works. Excuse me, don't mind me. I'm just grabbing a little bit of extra moolah. Moolah. <laughs> oh, I don't know how sustainable it is. And I definitely need to make the tar trap slow enemies down even further. But it certainly seems like it works. Okay, then seeing as we got a couple of cobalts that have made it through, I'm just gonna get that there. You know. Austerity and convenience and some other things. You know how it is. Oh, idea time. Gosh, does Cygnus just one-shot ogres with a headshot? I think he does. He's certainly effective. Ooh, it's so good! Just double down on side blades, ignore arrow walls. I am so I'm so excited to be at that state in this game, in that in that state in this game. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. The eh, I'll get that there. Uh, I don't know if I want to put a car trap there, but I think I might start putting the acid traps back just because. Can you put stuff on the roof, too? Yes. I just don't have any roof traps. However, after this, I will. Because uh, I'll have space and I have kind of a more established style. Though, there's kind of the question on which roof trap do I want to go with. Because I have the lasers, the lasers are tempting. But there's also the swinging mace trap, which is also very good. Probably actually do some damage to you. Yeah. Let's go deal with the boss. Because I know he shuts down traps for a while. Which makes Craig... Kind of really stinky. Because tragically, Asshole McGee. Oh, please don't destroy the barricades. Okay, he didn't. Oops. Does not fall in. Just have to be very accurate here. And I'm not... You are not proffering your face, Crag. There we go, got it. I do not like bosses that can disable my my traps, and it seems like he was capable of disabling all of them. Oy. Is what it is. He dead. The rest of the level is easy peasy.
The one thing I might want to do specifically with these is not always have all of the bouncing saw blades pointing in the same direction. Like, I need to alternate them a little bit, because it seems like there might be a couple of... ...occasional spots where, uh... ...where the enemy can just walk right through, like, a blind spot. Not a big deal. But it's there. Oh, well, there we go. Never mind. So it's bad to put them all in one chamber? I don't know. Kind of mixed with that. Namely, just that boss is always going to be a problem. Let's see. Increase health, reduce cost. Don't care too much. Really got to use my secondary as a blunderbuss some more. Uh, blah, 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 blah. What do we upgrade? What do we grab? Do we even have the uh, swinging mace? It's like the second to last thing that I get. Okay, well, that makes it easier. Because, yeah, I've got the, ce the ceiling laser. as an option. We do also have the Snowball Cannon. Which might not have been a bad idea. There's also, like, the Haymaker. But the Haymaker can kind of throw people over barricades and in places that I don't want them to be. Um... Where's the Snow Cannon? I'm gonna buy the Snow Cannon. Yeah, this is the Ceiling Pounder, but the Ceiling Pounder is okay. Oh. Uh next next level. <laughs> 